Well, David, very disappointing result. Your thoughts? I think just a, a great display from the girls and uh, ruined by refereeing decisions in terms of not letting the game flow. Really, bitty, really start, kind of like stop, start, and is give a, a first book and a silly one to Frida that there was never any need for. And it, it's gone down from there, and we've had to change the game plan. But second half, we're looking at it and go, we've created better chances, we've created more chances than Arsenal, and we just didn't find that cutting edge. And we've hit the bar again and missed a great opportunity. And we've had little opportunities in there, and it just wasn't to be again. But if we cut out these sloppy, sloppy defending mistakes, then we'll come away with draws, and we can take that from a 10-man performance. Mm -hmm. With a numerical disadvantage, as you mentioned there, mm. the team played very well second half and very unlucky not to at least equalise. Absolutely, and I think we kept the ball much, much better, which we had to. Um, obviously, we want to be, in terms of very quick and counter-attacking and good on the transition and get it to our wide players early. And I think kind of like we need to be a little bit more patient when we won it. A few little extra passes here and there to get us on the ball and then get Mel and Karen really driving at the defenders and probably brought out a better side of ourselves in terms of on the ball, which we've been trying to work out a lot lately and in the second half of pre-season. Remy Allen hit the crossbar, Kirsten and it puts the rebound over and then there was an incident with um, Melissa Lawley's shot, deflected shot, yeah. looked like it was taken over the line by the goalkeeper. Yeah, that's it. And I can say, it probably, in it, given our look, it could have gone two yards, two miles beyond the line and we probably wouldn't have got it today. And the way things are going for us, we just haven't got that break. And those are just some things. It's been post and bar every single game. I mean, we've, we've gone so close. We've had ones cleared off the line. We are literally inches from turning it around. And I think just one goal will boost the whole group, will boost the whole team. And we know first half of the season, we had our whole front line decimated. We, we could barely put out a starting lineup in terms of getting forwards on the pitch. Uh, but from that now, we've got them back and you've seen the difference it's making. Cut out these silly mistakes and we'll be turning the corner very, very soon. Just going back to that uh, first half incident with Freire um, AC. Yeah. Considering she got booked you know, minutes earlier, disappointed yeah. with the, the, the subsequent challenge that, that uh, earned the red card? Um, not too disappointed. No, again, I haven't got any quibbles about the second yellow card and the way that Freed has gone for it. That's the type of player she is. She's held it up, back to goal. It's just bounced and she's tried to win it. The, the girl's not malicious. I mean, she's got sent off earlier, but she's not a malicious player. She's literally gone for that ball because she wants to win it that bad. But the referee's given, done himself no favours at all. A silly little yellow card from a little back tackle and he's given her a yellow for that and he's had to follow it up and he's had no choice and he's dug himself a hole. But we've had Mel go in one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. I don't think uh, Alex Scott's got the ball. That should have at least be a free kick. He's waved it off, if not a red card. We've had Emma Mitchell down here absolutely smashed Karen up in the yeah, not even a second thought of he's just had a word with her and walked away so that's it and we've been on the wrong guy, wrong side of everything but um, may that kind of like come short and we'll get all our luck in this Continental Cup and we'll, we'll give that a great go and uh, get to a final and try and win something As you mentioned there, midweek action in the Cup how, how do you pick the girls up or how do they pick themselves up for that game? I think it's just a matter of brushing it off and just know, knowing the reasons why. And if we're looking at what we've worked on, everything's starting to come together. It really, really is. And I think we're just having that belief as a group. The longer we stay in games, nil-nil, if we can just get that first goal, I think you'll see a completely different side. You see that goal go in and this group will go from strength to strength.